you, t- you keep touching on toxins, removing toxins. What, in your opinion, are the biggest threats that we're facing today with environmental toxins? And yeah. what can we do about them? Because they're everywhere. I think the five biggest areas we're exposed to toxins are food. So organic as, as much as possible and just staying away from the processed foods that have more toxins in general, but organic, um, which doesn't mean free of toxins. It just means way less. And ruminant animals are very good at keeping toxins from their tissues. They're much better than monogastric animals like pigs and chickens and stuff. Uh, and chickens are really good at keeping toxins from their eggs. So again, not perfect, but Good. So like if I was going to focus on least toxic food, steak and eggs, you know, so food, water. So again, don't drink municipal water, get the the toxins out of that air. So obviously we can't control all the air we breathe, but make the air in your home the cleanest possible. So don't bring in artificial fragrances and all these different toxic things. Uh, Be wary of like even clothing and furniture, like all that stuff is off gassing chemicals and things. And then consider like, you know, some sort of better air filter for your bedroom, at least that's where you spend a third of your life. So make sure the air in there, like I turn it on a couple hours before bed, I turn that on, make sure the air is more clean in there. And then cosmetics and cleaning products. So if you put something on your skin, it's going to get into your body most of the time. And so make sure you're using the cleanest forms of cosmetics and cleaning products really to clean most things. You just need like vinegar and water, but you know, sometimes we need more harsh chemicals for some bigger messes maybe, but most of the time you just need vinegar and water and just as the least toxic forms of those as possible, because it's all about reducing the exposure the most you can, and then not freaking out about what you can't avoid, because it's always going to be there. Like you're never going to avoid it all, Mm -hmm. but then, you know, making sure that your detox mechanisms are up and working. So, so to make sure we're eliminating, there's no constipation or anything like that. Make sure our liver is supported and healthy, which is basically means a good diet. Um, make sure that uh, we're sweating fairly often, whether that's through exercise or sauna use, like make sure the detox pathways, lymphatic drainage is happening, which means optimizing your sleep, those types of things so that we can get rid of these toxins that we can't avoid.